Hello and thank you for joining Raspi PKR Tutorials. I'm Martin Parker and in this video I am going to be talking about the Simple Screen Recorder. This is the software that I'm using. Uh, it captures all my screen. Uh, this is a 1280 by 800 um, screen. It's a 15.4 inch screen and um, I'm recording the audio as well. Uh, so it's not just a, a screen recorder. Um, I do have a USB sound card into my Raspberry Pi 4 uh, that has two jacks, it has one for headset, uh, headphones and uh, a microphone input and um, so that's that uh, it works pretty well if you wish to try it out you can do just by uh, installing it from the command line um, and all you need to do is make sure you're up to date by sudo apt get update uh, press enter on that and um, you'll update your packages and then when you've done that uh, do the upgrade um, and then press yes when it asks you um, if it needs to install or make any changes um, but then to actually install the simple screen recorder uh, sudo apt get install simple screen recorder and press enter on that uh, it's going to say that I've already got the latest version but it would go through uh, and install it pretty simple uh, it doesn't take long and then to get to where it is uh, it installs it already for you you just click on your uh, Raspberry Pi menu icon and go to your sound and video and there it is um, and I will bring up another instance so there we go and this is how you get to use it so that's the main screen click continue um, and then you can set an input input um, profile I have my Oak Pi because I'm working on my Oak Pi laptop um, it record the entire screen you can set your, uh, your resolution uh, I've got it set for a good re refresh rate um, I've got my default uh, input source for my audio um, and now you can change that as by going to your speaker right click on it and because I've got a USB uh, sound card in um, I can use that as an output or through my uh, my laptop speakers or for the inputs I can select them and change the settings for um, how the microphone picks up um, and that's set as that default so it will do it from that source okay and then when you've done that bit uh, click continue then you've got your output um, you choose the folder or just have it into your Pi um, folder uh, or desktop wherever you want to have your recordings um, and then you can add a timestamp so in this in my recordings folder uh, you have got some of my my playlists that I've got I'm currently doing and this is the file that we're currently recording right now so um, Oak Pie is my my name and then it slides in the time and date stamp after there into it so you get uh, an idea when it was made um, I've got the uh, H264 codec running I've got it set for ultra fast so I do get a decent um, fluid flow of the, the mouse uh, I've got my audio as a, an MB3 format with a 256 bit rate um, you can click continue and then you can click on the start recording um, I don't think it'd be a good idea to maybe do a second recording of another recording but uh, you could do it that way um, and if you want to get rid of the the uh, the taskbar item uh, if I just minimize that you can see it there and then if you click on the actual icon it disappears so this is the one that I'm currently recording with as you can see my frame rate etc uh, and if I click there that's now disappeared so it looks a bit more better on the screen okay so that's just a quick video of how to use the um, simple risk screen recorder uh, it's pretty good um, I'm enjoying it it's alright thank you bye